Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is, how Python syntax is different from other programming languages. Let me answer. So how the Python syntax is different from the other programming languages. If you get this question in the interviews, you can answer something like this. The first thing is, Python language is all about one thing that is known as readability guys, okay? When compared to other programming languages like Java, C Sharp and all, Python language has good readability guys, okay? Almost all the methods, inbuilt methods, if you see in Python, right, have a proper English language understanding, okay? Understanding is very high guys, okay, in the Python language. Uh, the way of writing the Python is same as, you know, writing English, English language kind of thing. The readability is high. All the words used in the Python language are with proper English guys, with proper pure, plain, understandable English is there, okay? Most of its keywords have this pure, plain, easily understandable English language used. Hence, Python is known for high readability when compared to other programming languages, okay? Then... In Python programming language, we don't have to use semicolon symbol to end the statements, okay? For example, here, um, for example, as I all told you, first line, readability, right? For example, if I want to print something into the output, they gave something like print only, you see? Print is very easy to understand, right? They made the keyword, okay? To this print statement, if you give some text, right, this particular text will get printed in the output console, okay? This proves the readability of the Python guys, okay? As simple as print command, when you run this, you know that it's going to print this name into the output, right? So, so easy it is to understand, guys, okay? Readability is very high in Python language. The example is print only, okay? Now, no need to use a semicolon, guys. You see, at the end of this statement, I have not ended this statement with semicolon or full stop or whatever it is. I can write any more statement, say, is equal to 5, print of A, okay? Print of A and so on, I can create. You see, nowhere semicolons are there, okay? So, no need to use semicolon etc. to end the statements, uh, whereas in other programming languages, uh, we have to use semicolon, but in Python, semicolon is not required at all, okay? Run this, you see, it's going to work. Then indentation is used to define the scope instead of braces, guys, okay? If I compare this Python programming languages with uh, other programming languages, right, their indentation is used, guys. For example, if I have to create if statement, if selection statement, uh, here I'll write uh, a is equal to uh, phi comma, a, sorry, comma is not there. A is equal to 5, B is equal to 4 if I write. And uh, if I write A is, okay, if I write if A is greater than B, semicolon, okay, uh, I'm sorry, uh, colon. And here you see indentation is automatically coming as print A is greater than B is coming, okay? Print A is greater than B, print A is greater than B. See, you see, wherever the indentation is there under this block means this particular statements belong to this if selection statement, okay? If selection statement. Not only this one, guys, if you go with other one like uh, per i in range of 11 colon print of i. You see, this statement belongs to this for loop, okay? So it has an indentation. Indentation is nothing but this initial space, okay? This proves that it is an indentation, okay? Uh, if you go with while loop, for each loop, whatever the loop is, okay, they, this define the scope. In other programming languages, we have to use semicolon symbols, okay? Uh, here, like method also, depth, okay, my first method, if I write like this, and uh, you see the method starts here, the code inside the method will be like this, okay? The statements inside the method, body, okay? Inside my first underscore method, okay? Like this, I have to write this, okay? This statements belong to the method body, okay? Method, this is a method body, okay? So this is a scope guys. We don't have to use curly braces like other programming languages to define this uh, if selections blocks, for loops, and uh, method bodies and other stuff in Python, okay? Their curly braces are not used. If whether you create a class, method, whatever it is in Python, okay? We don't have to use the curly braces. We can simply solve that with the help of indentation, guys, okay? Indentation will reduce the number of lines automatically, as you know, okay? For writing this uh, opening and curly, uh, closing curly braces, we need extra lines, right? This looks very simple and uh, with less number of lines without this curly braces, we are able to write the code, okay? Here, indentation is something that is followed by Python to define that uh, these particular statements belong to this particular if block, etc. okay? 
uh so with practical demonstration i covered like how python is different okay these are the main points if someone asks you how python syntax is different from other programming languages you can give this three points here okay so that's all for this session guys that's the answer for this question so see you in the next session where i'm going to answer another python interview question for you till then see you bye bye